What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today was the official reveal for the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War uh, multiplayer. If you have not seen the trailer, I will link it down in the description below. They had a big reveal show talking about all kinds of things. Uh, some stuff is kind of changing up from past Call of Duty titles. Some stuff is staying somewhat the same, maybe with a little new fresh spin on it. Let's go ahead and get right into some of the changes. The first two things that I want to talk about is something I'm sure is on a lot of people's mind, and that is the minimap and Dead Silence. And yes, both of those will be returning in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So that classic minimap will be back, and also the return of Dead Silence. I think it's called Ninja in uh, the in the gameplay we saw. I think it was called Ninja in the perk section, but it is still what you think of as that classic Dead Silence. I know a lot of players will be happy to hear that both of those are returning. I was very happy to hear that those both were returning as well. They also talked about uh, this game kind of being a same concept as Modern Warfare. It will be multiplayer and also they will integrate Warzone into Black Ops Cold War. They didn't go into a ton of detail of exactly what they're going to do uh, with Warzone. They just said they will have some surprises ahead, but you can expect, you know, keep your players like rank and things like that will stay the same. But I'm assuming at some point they're going to bring in kind of weapons and things from Black Ops Cold War into Warzone, probably some also, also some map location changes as well. Uh, they did talk about, of course, something I, I reported uh, or talked about or reported in a video a few weeks ago. Uh, there will be no like paid DLC. It will be DLC will be free for everyone. There will be a battle pass like Modern Warfare. So the same kind of concept uh, when it comes to DLC and battle pass or the battle pass system is uh, the same thing as Modern Warfare has right now in game. They also talked about cross-platform play. They said cross-platform play will be a thing in Black Ops Cold War, but also cross-generation play. So not only will it be all platforms playing together, it will be PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC players all in the same lobby. I know some people do not like to play cross-platform. There is no word yet if cross-platform play can be disabled. That will probably have to be something we have to see later on, maybe when the beta comes out. But... Uh, if I hear anything else about that, I will let you guys know. But I know a lot of players, some players love it, some some players don't like it. So, like I said, if I find anything out about uh, disabling crossplay, I will let you know. They talked about some of the classic weapons returning. So, just for example, some things like the XM4, which would be what you think of as an M4, an M16, and an AK-47. These are going to be weapons uh, that are kind of in, in the Cold War era. They said the multiplayer itself is going to be based a couple years after the actual story campaign, but it is still those Cold War era style guns. Some very cool looking maps they showed off. They showed off one map in kind of downtown Miami. It looked like that bright, vibrant map that you could expect from Treyarch. And I'm really glad to see that. That's one thing I've always liked about Treyarch's maps. They're really bright, they're really vibrant, they're easy to see enemy players. Unlike Warzone and unlike Modern Warfare where Infinity War likes to make their kind of game color scheme, kind of those dark greens, grays, uh, browns, that kind of thing. And it has always been like that. But I know a lot of people have trouble seeing a lot of stuff in some of the uh, Infinity War style games. And I was glad to see Treyarch bring those bright, vibrant maps back kind of into the multiplayer and, uh, you know, multiplayer map fold and that kind of thing. I, I was really happy to see that. Also, they talked about some new modes bring, being brought to the game. They said they will not bring back Ground War for Black Ops Cold War, but they will have a kind of their own take on it. It's going to be called Combined Arms. It's not going to be near the amount of players that you see in uh, Ground War. This is going to be 12 on 12, but there still will be vehicles and things like that on larger kind of open sandbox style maps. So people that really like to play large style maps with large player counts still have an option to do so in the game. Also they talked about some other new modes coming to the game. One was called VIP Escort. That's going to be a new mode. But they also said all the classic modes like Team Deathmatch, Dom, Kill Confirm, those things will be coming to the game as well. They also said they will have timed exclusive modes kind of like you see in Modern Warfare uh, coming to the game You know, each week. Uh, they did talk about another new mode called Fire Team. They didn't go into a lot of detail about this but it is teams of four and kind of playing on a large map with kind of object objectives. From what I've understood, uh, kind of what I've understood about this, is there are going to be 40 players on the map. So there's going to be teams of four, and you're fighting over certain objectives. I'm not sure if you're, to begin with, when I heard about it, I thought it was going to be teams of four, and you're going to be fighting against AI. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be teams of four fighting against each other to find these objectives. So there's some new modes coming to the game, but a lot of those classic modes that everybody has come to love will be returning as well. Now, when it comes to the creative class, 
They have changed the create a class up just a bit. Everyone will have a primary, secondary, and three perk slots. It's not really going to be the pick 10 style system. Instead, it's going to be the gunsmith style system from Modern Warfare. Each weapon will have five attachments automatically, so you will not have to put any kind of you know perk on or anything like that to get extra attachments. If you do want to run extra attachments, there will be a wild card for that. So wild cards will be returning as well. So kind of an example, you can use this wild card to put seven attachments on your weapon. Or you can use a certain wild card to run six perks instead of three. But they said there will be around 40 to 50 different attachments for each weapon. So kind of the same concept as Modern Warfare, but with a Treyarch style spin on it. There also will be field upgrades in game that each person or each player can run. These field upgrades will be on the timer. There will be no uh, specials, uh, specialist or anything like that, but each character will kind of have a field upgrade. Kind of the same thing or same theme, in my opinion, is how it was in World War II to an extent, but it's not really a, a particular character. It's just an upgrade of like a, a C4 mine that you can throw out and some other things of that kind of nature. Uh, they also talked about streaks and how they were going to work and this is probably the biggest change of all streaks will now not reset on death in the past you know if you want a long kill streak and you die before you got to your chopper gunner let's say for example of course you lost that chopper gunner now in this game kill streaks will not reset when you die and when i heard this i was kind of worried but they did state that each kill streak will have a cooldown timer on them so once they have been used in the map so for example if somebody uses a chopper gunner in game and you get yours after you die, uh, just a couple minutes after you come back, there will be a cooldown timer on that, so you may not be able to use it, of course, until that cooldown timer has ran off from the past person or past player that has, uh, you know, activated their kill streak. So I was glad to hear that because I was thinking this game is going to be full of kill streak spam, but with those timer cooldown timers uh, on it or on the kill streaks in game, I think that will help out a lot. They said they wanted uh, all players to be able to experience using kill streaks no matter how large they are, so that was the reason for them doing this kind of new kill streak idea in game or score streak idea in game. And last but not least, they talked about the beta. The beta will be uh, starting on October the 8th on PS4. That will be for pre-orders. And then on October the 10th, it will be an open beta on PS4. Then the following weekend, October the 15th, will be the early access for PC and Xbox and open beta for PS4. And on October the 17th, the open beta for PC and Xbox will start. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Did you watch the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War? Are you excited about the game? It does look promising. I mean, it looks like those classic style Call of Duty games, uh, kind of what I've come to expect year in and year out. I was glad to see it looked more like a Treyarch game than kind of Modern Warfare. I was getting kind of worried to begin with. It may just be a reskinned version of Modern Warfare, considering the time frame Treyarch had to make this game. Because, you know, as we've talked about in videos before, it was supposed to be Sledgehammer's year to make the game and not Treyarch. So I was kind of worried there were going to be uh, time restraints on, on making this. But it looks like Treyarch's going to pull through and make a really good looking Call of Duty game. We can hope, of course, when the beta comes out, I'll have some beta footage here on the channel. And of course, any other news that comes out in the upcoming weeks, I will also bring you guys here on the channel. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.